so let's understand the problem of the how the mucus is forming in the body so what is mucus or what is the phlegm or what is the congestion or what is this thing which is coming out of our top portion of the body hmm? that is called it as a accumulation of the excessive kapha in the body okay but let's understand how this kapha is getting formed in the body hmm? so so this is stomach hmm? so whatever we eat in the body on the daily basis as a form of a food um, and whatever we give it to the body through the mouth it's called it as a ahara dravya this ahara dravya gets transformed into the ahara ras or chime in the modern science but let's talk about the ayurveda only that ahara rasa so this ahara rasa the food has supposed to get digested first in the stomach but what is happening here is like our digestion is very weak or slow digestion manda agni bolte usko so this digestion this type of agni is low agni low means it's a weak agni weak digestive fire weak digestion so because of that the food is not getting formed very well the digestion of the food so it's called it and that indigestion of the food or half half cooked half uncooked or whatever that half thing is there it creates the continuation of ama dosha in the body so this is a am in the body even if you don't want to understand this just understand the three stages of the digestion in the body so three stages of the digestion three stages okay so in the three stages of the digestion the first stage is connected to the stomach area hmm? see after the after you eat the food what do you think you feel right after you eat the food heavy stomach perfect heavy right because this is what it is it produces in that area in the stomach area is production of the kapha okay yes. so if you have a problem of breathing and uh, you if you have if you are coming for you know allergy and sufferings and mucus coming and continuous sneezing continuous suffering from last 10 years right so what is happening here is like even if you have a outsource from here outsource you know the term outsourcing right yeah. so your body is also doing outsource yeah. you guys like in techno world right yeah. outsourcing right so this is your outsource now lungs are located in the chest area chest area is dominated by the kapha dosha in the body again kapha is there in the lungs whatever that accumulation is happening the first thing the lung is a little bit not working properly because of the formation of this one low vitality okay and because of this your lungs are collecting this and because of this and daily we eat so this is a continuation of kapha this is a continuation of ama and this is a kapha in your lungs so this cycle is is going on and cycle is going on for you okay so how do you break the cycle is like what we are doing okay understood yeah so now the is the problem here no. is the problem here stomach so Me where is your main problem eating good one eating <laughs> and that also indian sweets yeah <laughs> that also yeah. from india <laughs> right yeah. right yeah. so you need to understand this logic and for that i am giving you all the things which you can do through the yoga through the pranayama through the breathing techniques through the detox cleansing panchakarma thinking positive approach living positively not doing the things which are disturbing the vata kapha as well as vata okay so kapha as well as vata as well as pitta why because the stomach agni is called it as a 
Jutragni, Pachakagni. So this is a formation of one of the, well, this is one of the Pachak Kagni. Jo Pachan Karne Wala Hai. Usko Pachak Agni Bolte. The one which who digests the food in the stomach area is called it as a Pachakagni, Jutragni. One of the type of the Agnis in the body out of the 13. Okay. So what are the 13 Agnis in the body? Three are related to the Vata, Pitta, Kapha. And the seven are related to the? Okay. Sapta Dhatu. Kya baat hai? Seven tissues in the body. And then the last one is the 13th one, which are staying here in the stomach. Right? So let's go on the yoga mat now. And we will practice some of the yoga sanas, which will help us to work on a little bit in the chest area. Hmm? So be on the yoga mat and we'll practice now you practice the can you show me the brahmari pranayama or you can practice it there you have a seat on that and we will practice the breathing technique you can show me the breathing technique or we will repeat it one more time let me repeat with you okay enough on the first day second day now we are going into the deeper levels okay so in the primary pranayama whatever is your comfort now i have formal pranayama it's going to give you to show you uh, the proper position and all of that but you know how to sit properly okay now let's take this thumb and put it on the tragus this is called it as a tragus which is a small part on the Outside of the ear, okay, in front of the lobe. Hmm? So, this is a tragus. So, your thumb is going on the tragus, your index is going on the eye, your, your middle finger is going on the next to the nose, and your ring finger is below nose. So, the second one is closing the eye, third and fourth is opening the nose. Okay, good job. And the last one is below the lips. Okay. Now, you create the sound of the brahmar, which means the bumblebee. Okay. So you inhale nicely. And create the sound of the bumblebee. Very nice. Let's try it again. I want you to inhale nicely. And release. So you practice it 11 times or 21 times on your own when you practice for yourself. Okay. As your disease, your problem is 10 plus years, which is almost like a decade old. Your age is 33. So you are carrying this from a very early stage. From the childhood, as you mentioned today, on the third day. Okay. So now, as we are going to the building. Let's finish our yesterday's recording. Okay. So we did the first that right on top. Inhale and exhale deeply in such a way so that you can feel it in your 
which area? Load. Load. Okay. Inhale deeply. Exhale deeply. Concentrate, focus, visualize and connect. Hold it into the stomach as much as you can, okay? I want you to do with me, okay? The third one. Inhale. Hold. 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 And exhale. That last variation I want you to practice. Okay? Now that is the first. Second one was? Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. That is very important. Okay? Now the second one was relax your toes. Toes are connected with each other. Now inhale and lift until the collarbone. No, you are not lifting. You are just lifting until this is the collarbone. So you are lifting only until the collarbone. This is a baby cobra. That's it. And cobra doesn't have hands. This one. Look up here. Very good. Exhale. One more time. Look up, Gina. And exhale. One last time. Inhale. Look up, Gina. And exhale. Now the third variation of this. Inhale. And lock your heart. Retire. Hold your breath. There you go. See my um, very important thing in your hands in front of you. Very nice. And then look up, Tina. Engage. And exhale. Okay. Two more times. Do it at your own pace. Look up, Tina. Hold your breath. One last time. Inhale. Look up. Chin up. Hold. Very nicely. Feel into your back. Move the muscles properly. Engage as much as you can. Like the way we practiced yesterday. Now, exhale. Okay. So this is the yesterday's variation, just to record. So you're recording. Now, from here, I want you to bring your arms out into the tea. Okay. Your chin is on the ground. Now, bring your right knee into the tea. What is happening? Only the knee movement and hip movement. So, what you are doing? See, this knee is coming close to your stomach. Ah, like that. Perfect. Now, your right hand is holding the right knee. And see, if you can see the right knee, this knee is close to you. Right hand is holding the heel or the foot, whatever you can. Depending upon your flexibility in the body. Got it? Mm -hmm. Easy? Now breathe in here. 
and look at me. And I'm breathing out. I'm turning to the left, but I'm not lifting the chin up of the ground. This is all happening on the mat. And your right ear is on the ground now. And your vision is at the tip of the finger. Now do five breaths or seven breaths or eleven, whatever your days allow you. Once you finish the circle, to remove it, keep your hands in the seat. Move your leg and bring your arms in the T again. Good? If you are done. Now we, our, our face is on the left side of the body, right? Because our right ear is on the ground. Right now, we will bring the feet down. down. Left knee is coming close to the body. Okay, now grab your heel, grab your feet. Now, inhale here, and what will we do now? Your chin is on the ground. When you're exhaling, you're turning to the right side of the body, and your left ear is on the ground. Exhale in the whole process. Your vision is at the tip of the finger of the right hand now. Now, three more breaths here. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Deep breath in, deep breath out here. Good. Now release your left leg. Bring the chin. Now from here, you come into the center. Okay. This is a very good to go on your stem. Specifically into the excretory organ. That's why we are practicing. Whatever you told me today, that white part, mm -hmm. that is for this. This is for that. Okay. okay. Now, from here, we're going to do some variations. Okay. So, bring your arms here, and now you're coming to the cat and cow. So, bring your both knees below your hip. Both knees are below your hip, and your both wrists are below your shoulder. Look at me. This leg is not like this. It's okay. And if you want to do one nice thing to learn about yourself, bring it like this. And so you can bring it. Yeah. Very nice. Okay. Okay. Now look here. The very important thing here. We are doing some variations into the spine here, okay? Because it carries a lot of sensations throughout the body. So the very important thing what you need to do here is wake up, chin up. Exhale. In and chin lock here. Inhale. Tuck your tailbone, look up. 
belly down, chin up. Exhale. Make a nice toe of your back. Inhale. Into the cow. Look up. Chin up. Belly down. Look up. Breathing on the ceiling. Exhale. Into the chin up. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. And exhale. That's it. This is the variation of cat and cow. And from here, you come into this Vajrasana. Relax your toes. All right. So now. going to do okay make a nice fist very good put it into the lower abdominal area where you hold a lot of pain or the high neck okay so separate it put it nicely back straight shoulders relaxed very nice chest forward open up now inhale here and look at me. Exhale. Lead with your heart. Let your heart lead the movement. Exhale. And when you are exhaling, when you are exhaling, you are not lifting your butt and heel connection. Try to keep them closed as much as they can. Okay. So when you exhale everything, stay there. Do not inhale right afterwards. See if you can fold it for a little bit more here. Now inhale. Look up, chin up. Now. You will repeat the same thing. Lead with your heart. Exhale. <coughs> Try to keep your heel and your glutes, which is called it as a buttock area. Try to keep them as close as you can. And let that emptiness stay with you a little bit more. After the exhale, suddenly don't breathe in, okay? Now inhale. Use the muscles all the way from your lower back. One after the other vertebrae. Slowly, gently look up, chin up. And exhale, last. Don't breathe in. Hold here. No breathing in. Inhale. Till there you are connecting with the bladder, the kidneys in the body. So this is this whole yoga asana and this is to create the nice compression into that area. So that way our urban skin looks beautiful. Okay, got it? Yes. So what is the first one? Today's? Dhamma. Dhamma. Yeah, Dhamma is the first one. Then second? I don't know. Hmm? No, I don't know. Koi baat nahi. 
just show me the, the thing which we bring face down into the T to the knee up and knee down. Yeah. Then turning. Turning. That's second one. Third one. Cat and cow. Cat and cow. Fourth one. So I will give you five minutes to practice all of this. Maybe three times or five times. Five to seven minutes I will do it to you. Okay. Just do the way. If you have questions, ask me again. Okay. But start from the Brahmari. Then come to the T on the belly. If you want to practice this, that is a little bit one each. You do that. Cobra to up top. Then you go into the T and then practice the knee one. Go into the area, nice way, whatever your body allows you, turn. Then once you are done with that, both sides, maybe two to three times, then come into the cat and cow. You know how to do the cat and cow, right? Make sure you are aligned properly when you are doing it. Yeah. Then you do practice that three times and then you come into this and then do the fist and laugh and open and close. So the whole set is five or four, four. Okay. Now down, chihuahua, two, three, four, four. Okay. So practice all of this and then I will take you for the body massage. Smile. Only one finger at that. Don't press hard. Okay. And open your nose. Elbow, also open the elbows. Yeah, like that. Chest forward. Yeah, good. 